Hello, 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 readers. I hope everyone's week is off to a great start. You've got your lesson done from yesterday, and we're ready to start our new books for the week. But before we jump into our new one today, you know, I always like to think about the last book that we read. The last one that you guys had was a book called Thunderstorm. In Thunderstorm, a girl named Emma was babysitting this little girl, Lily. All of a sudden, a huge storm happened, and Emma had to be brave to protect Lily from the storm. Emma ended up coming up with some really cool ways to keep Lily safe, entertained, and to keep her not scared from the storm. And that got me thinking about some of my own personal experiences I've had in thunderstorms. I grew up in Ohio, and there's a lot of tornadoes that happen in Ohio. So a lot of times we have to go downstairs into the basement if there's a tornado that's gonna come. And we have to take all of the things that are most important to us with us just in case the storm gets really, really bad and it hits our house. Luckily, no tornado ever hit our house, but that doesn't mean we weren't super scared. So we found ways just like Emma, to be brave and make it through that storm. Okay, moving on to our new book today. Woo. Nothing but trouble. Look at this crazy girl on the front. Does she remind you of anyone that you know that might be a little bit of trouble? I think we all have that person in our lives. So Kevin has this neighbor named Lucy Lester. And Lucy's just a little girl, but it seems like every time Kevin gets involved with her, something goes wrong. There's some kind of trouble. And that's the title, Nothing But Trouble. I want you guys to think about someone that you know like that. Maybe it's a little brother or sister. Maybe it's a cousin or a friend. Oh, I know somebody. Mm-hmm. I won't tell you who they are, though. Don't want to spill the beans on them. Throw them under the bus. So one of the problems in this story is poison ivy. Do you know anything about poison ivy? I don't know if there's much poison ivy that happens in Texas, but we're gonna read the inside back cover because the author actually gives us some extra information about what poison ivy is. All right, so it says, learning more about poison ivy. What's poison ivy? If you've had it, then you know. Poison ivy is a plant that can cause an itchy rash. It's also what we call the rash itself. Only some people get poison ivy. Others can touch the plant and never get the nasty rash. The poison ivy plant grows near wooded areas. Its stalks are from four inches to four feet tall. Poison ivy leaves grow in groups of three. So, you might know the saying, leaves of three, let it be. If you see a group of three leaves, do not touch it because it could be poison ivy. And you're gonna see what happens, like our boy Kevin. So poison ivy is important in this story. And we just read why. Let's go back to page two. All right, let's take a look at page two. Here we have Kevin and Lucy. We see him for the first time. And the writer tells why Kevin thinks Lucy is nothing but trouble. One time, Kevin won a backwards race, and his prize was this amazing chocolate cake. And Lucy sat right on it. Every time Kevin saw her, something bad happened. Can you find the word happened on page two? Happened. <sighs> happened. 
Good. It's right here. We can ha ha happened. We can hear it starts with the letter H. Notice that there's double consonants in the middle. There's a double P in the middle. And when you read it, you can break the word into parts between those double letters. So the parts are hap pend. Hap pend. We also know what it means when there's an ed at the end of the word. Think about that for a second. What does it mean when there's an ed at the end of our word? Yes, that means it happened in the past. Well done. It's in past tense. So what are some of the details you notice on page three? The writer gives us a lot of clues in the pictures. Look at Kevin's face. He looks worried or scared. Lucy looks all innocent and happy. Dogs twisted around the tree. Kevin's shoelaces are twisted together. And we're getting a lot of information from these pictures. Take a look on page three. I want you to find the word practiced. Practiced. Who can tell me what the first syllable in the word practiced is? Good. Prac. Practiced. And this word ends in an ed as well. We know that it's past tense. And the ed at the end of this word kind of sounds like a t. Practiced. So now we're going to turn to page four. So here's Kevin and Lucy again. Why do you think Kevin's hiding behind the tree? Why would somebody do that? Right, because he doesn't want Lucy to see him. He wants to stay far away from Lucy. So Lucy kicked her soccer ball into the woods, and she wants Kevin to go in and get it. What do you think Kevin will do? What do you predict he will do? Maybe. He could. What do you think might happen if he goes into the woods to help Lucy get her ball? Maybe nothing but trouble. Maybe some poison ivy, because we talked about how important that is already. Let's skip a few pages here. But let's take a look. Again, like I said, the pictures tell us so much information. Take a look at Kevin on page 13. How do you think he's feeling? Happy? Excited? Angry? What's happening on his arms? It's like Kevin doesn't look very happy there. He doesn't look very comfortable at all. He's very, very itchy, and it's starting to affect his baseball. Oops. So on page 14 and 15, Lucy feels really bad that Kevin helped her out, and he ended up getting poison ivy all over himself, and he was so itchy, and she wants to do something nice for him. So she gives Kevin... A bouquet of flowers. How sweet. Bouquet. Can you guys say that word with me? Bouquet. It starts with a B. It's spelled a little differently at the end. Bouquet of flowers. Can you guys find it on page 15? Good. Right here where my cursor is, bouquet of flowers. That means like a bundle of flowers. Oh, my, my, Lucy. Do you think those are really flowers? Well, when you go back and read the book, you're going to find out. 
And as you read, I want you to think about what the writer does to make this fiction story kind of funny. It's not a serious story. It's supposed to be funny. So after you're done reading, be ready to share your answer to that question. As always, email me, text me, or call me if you have any questions. Enjoy reading Nothing But Trouble.